Low income families and the homeless in downtown Brownsville now have a new resource inviting hunger and putting them into a path to a healthy lifestyle. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo joins us in the studio and Santiago, what makes this newly opened food pantry so unique? Maribel, this week the Good Neighbor Settlement House Soup Kitchen and Thrift Store in Brownsville was officially converted into a food pantry where those most needy in our community are able to pick healthy food options themselves and also learn how to prepare them. The Food Bank of the Rio Grande Valley helped with this initiative and wants not only to fight poverty but also health problems. Volunteers at the Mesa Llena Food Pantry are restocking with new shipment after more than 160 families were helped just this week. It's been a little crazy, but a good crazy. The food bank of the Rio Grande Valley recently reopened the Good Neighbor Settlement House Soup Kitchen and Thrift Store into a self-service food pantry. They like the fact that it's kind of like shopping in a grocery store. This concept was first presented to the Valley Baptist Heritage Foundation, which gave the food bank a $30,000 grant with the purpose to not only feed families and the homeless, but to give them independence with cooking classes and more to give them uh, financial literacy, to give them uh, nutrition uh, education. They will even offer Zumba classes. The food bank says they want the most vulnerable in our community to also be healthy and fight diabetes and heart disease. Low income uh, families are the most vulnerable. They will uh, have to decide if they're going to eat uh, a healthy salad for lunch or buy a bag of chips and a Coke. Downtown Brownsville residents such as Yolanda Uma can now select what they want and have a stock pantry. People, they can have uh, more things for, for their house. This latest food pantry expansion is part of the food bank's interest in covering more areas of the valley with better ways in transforming the most vulnerable into healthier citizens. For more information on the food pantry hours, contact information, and location, you can head on over to our website, valleycentral.com. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley Tonight.